On a day like any other, Edward was taking some trucks to the scrapyard on his branch line. I've seen a lot of relics on rails, but you might be the most out of time in them all. Hello? Who's there? <laughs> Why should I tell something as useless as you? George, the steamroller? I believe I've heard of you from some of my friends. You're Edward, I presume? You roll up and down that little overgrown track you call a branch line taking you run the place. One way of introducing yourself. I've got nothing to lose. Look at me. Laid up here like a pile of old rusty rails. Rails that have been ripped up to make way for roads. Ha! Uh. So, how did you... Get myself in front of the cutter's torch. Get left to rust. All I've done has been standing up for the roads I worked on. Now, George, we got some work today. What is it? Making roads? Haven't done that in a while. No. We are going to be in a vintage vehicle parade this week. You are going to be the star attraction. Ha! <laughs> parade? Why can I get some real work for a change? Not any of this showpiece garbage we've been stuck with. Now, I will take none of that, then. The company has kept you around all these years, just for things like this. You can't just expect them to use you on the roads these days. Well, they still have railways with even older engines running on them. I will take none of this railway nonsense, George. Can you just have your fire lit and stop giving me trouble for today? <laughs> George hastily started and started to go steam. They should be ripped up by now. Sometimes if you want something done, you have to do it yourself. You've done it now! Your frame is snapped! Rip I can't up the control rain. you! Bring in the roads! <laughs> I've broke my frames, but in the process got close to running right over your precious rail yard. Now you've done it, George. The manager has to put in such an effort into keeping you around. Now you've really done it. I'll be back. Just you wait. Oh, George. I hope so. The no good, cheap, rotten manager said he didn't have the money to fix me and sent me here. That is too bad to hear. You know, my driver and I have many friends. Some of them might even want a steamroller. I wonder if the vicar... Me? Beyond my friends on the rails? Leave me out to rot. Rip me up now. Anything but being put in parades and fairs for children. Sounds worse than the stuff the company had me doing. <laughs> I've had my day. And so have some of your friends. What do you mean? That tin pot tramway? The one up in the hills near Ulstead. Toby's tramway? Is that the box that goes on that line? Yes, that's the one. As we speak, they're ripping it up. Some of the vehicles back at Soto Roadways are ripping them up and making them into a road. <laughs> Why would I believe you? <laughs> because soon you will see a Toby here yourself. That would never happen. 
But you see, Edward, that's why I'm okay with all this. Finally, after all these years, I can rest happy knowing they're ripping up some of this island's rails and turning them into some roads. <laughs> Even if you are telling the truth, you're only talking about a small tramway, not the railway. <laughs> My driver tells me that quarry is the only thing keeping that branch line alive. Then it's going to be first the tramway, then the branch line, and then who knows what is next? The railway? But, but how could you... You know, a railway is like a tree. It has many branches and would be hard to work without them. If you start cutting off branches, got a tramway here, a scrapyard there, a tree loses its branches and dies. The roads are like a web, many interconnected. You are like its spider. Good day. You'll see. I can hear the rails being pulled up now. Rip. 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 Have to go find the fat controller. You will in good time, you will in good time. But what if the quarries close down? Surely we will still have plenty of work. And what will my passengers do? Keep easy, Thomas. I haven't heard we'd be stopping our runs anytime soon. I am sure all will be sorted when we find out what is going on. I hope so. It's good to see you this morning. It's nice to see you too, Edward. Thomas, have you noticed anything uh, strange lately about the tramway? Well, yes, actually. There was a strange train that arrived in the yard earlier, and ever since there have been wagons of rails ending up in the yard. How did you know something was happening? Well, um... <clears throat> I heard a story from George. But he, he probably exaggerated. I would not worry, Thomas. If I were you, I would find Sir Topham Hatt. I am worried it would destroy the relationship that we have with him. They won't be able to do much. What can they do? We have to do this or the whole branch line is at stake. The working relationship between us and- Enough! I still have the same thoughts as last night, gentlemen. I have made my choice. Ah, going through with it. The agreement has expired. Unless acting is in our own ability, I will tell the engines and crews at the car at once. Well, somehow, according to Edward, George knew that something was going to happen. Knew the line would be taken apart. Taking apart? Taking what part? No, Percy, it means scrapping. Ripping up the rails, closing rail lines. Let's not go too fast here. The fat controller would never do something like this. He saved me after my last tramway closed. He would not let it happen. Not to me again. Sir Topham Hatt has to be able What would I have to do now, Thomas? Sir, sir, I... You'd do well for yourself if you had listened to Toby. Now, you must be wondering why I'm here. Sir, are you here to talk to us about the tramway? And how we can take a part? Right you are, pussy. You will have a big part to play. Now, as I have shown you all aware, the boy is out of stone. However, I can announce to you here today, we are extending the line to a new quarry site. Sir, how far? To where? 
The new quarry site has just passed Alstead, and when we are finished, we are planning to make a new station at Alstead for you and Daisy Thomas. Oh, sir, thank you, sir. There will be a brand new line and a new quarry for you too, Toby, with plenty of stone and work to be done for Mavis too. Oh, sir, just wait until I tell Henrietta. She will be so very pleased. And even some new goods for Percy from Holstead. Sir, really? Of course. There'll be plenty of new work for you soon, Percy. Helping to build the line. It's going to be a busy and exciting time here on the branch line. With a lot of hard work ahead. But, I know, as always, my engines will be really useful. I can't offer you any more than that. I don't have any more. Well, I am sorry, sir. I bought him for more. There's nothing I can do, really. But he's not any piece of iron. He's a steamroller that has served this island's road since before you were born. Made out the same still as the rest of the lot, as far as I'm concerned. Just give me some more time. I can get more people involved and, and, and find more money. Sorry, sir. Yards like these don't stay open by being a charity. Don't worry, George. The roads will have their day.